the tops, a cracking game at King's Home. You felt like it was always going to be. Frankly, before the game, I thought Sarries might run away with this because their starting 15 looked mega. Gloucester have just got tons of injuries. Um, but you know what I'm going to say. You know what the first thing I'm thinking about oh, this yeah. game is. You big know, Val. Big, big Val. Val. He showed up. He showed up big time. Yeah, he really showed up in that first half. I was gutted for Gloucester, but mainly for me, uh, to see him go off at half time. I think he had a sore back. He was punishing that Sarries scrum once or twice, looking super sharp around the field. Val Rapava Ruskin at loose said he's one to watch for England. Absolutely no doubt. What did you make of it all? But incredible game. End to end, start to finish. Loads of drama, loads of action. What we're going to look at is how Sarri's actually won the game in this week's take. So we're going to look at some of their attack. It centres around width of the pass from 9 to 10 and some nice tactical kicking as well, all centred around that man, Owen Farrell. So let's have a quick look. If you see here, the width of that pass from 9 to 10, it's what's going to do the damage to the Gloucester defence because you just end up taking out so many numbers. And what they actually do alongside that is then flood that space with extra numbers. So you see that width of the pass from 9 to 10 takes out four Gloucester defenders. You add in the two sweeping backs coming around that corner. You end up with six attackers flooding a space with only three defenders. Sarri's pick it off. They execute it really nicely. Lewington, 100th game, gets his hands free. Malins, another try to his name. He finishes that off really nicely. But in a tense game, it was going to come down to moments. If you look at the time on the clock there, 63.46, look at how Farrell's holding that ball. So a lot of fly halves now are using this spiral high ball kick to really test defenders. That's Johnny May getting caught out. So that's kind of the warning shot. So Farrell's like, right, I've got this. This could be a weapon for us. There's only two points in the game. He's looking to close the game out. So a little bit of technology there. We fast forward, fast forward. About two minutes later, similar sort of position. Farrell, same technique, high, high, high ball. Difficult to deal with, spinning in the wind. Mian gets nowhere near it. Sarri's recover, and now that first theme. Width of the pass from nine to 10, look at that. Now the ball doesn't actually go to target, but it's still the same scenario. And there, Sarri's 10 defenders running against five, 10 attackers, sorry, I should say. And then they just pick it off. Good skills, good handling, great timing of the pass from Billy Vinopola. Ben L goes in, and Ivan Van Zell, he crashes over at the end. So in a tight, tight game, Really, really good finish from Sarri's. But of course, the talking point post-game is all about that man and should he have still been on the pitch. Yeah, so the answer's no. Where do you stand on it? Why do you think it wasn't referred to TMOs? They did, was it too far to go back? How do you feel? Yeah, I think they just, they just got their wires crossed. You can go back until the game's been restarted to look at it. Yeah. They didn't and they missed a trick. It's a great win for Sarri's in all those circumstances. I think Gloucester just need to know that against those top teams, you've got to put them away. Got to put it to bed or they will come back and bite you. Farrell's done that four times to Gloucester now. Four times. But he missed a load of kicks. And he, he wasn't, he wasn't kicking kicks. well. He was on nothing like the form he was on last week. No, wasn't perfect, but he got the one that mattered at the it's end. That guy up top, mental toughness, box ticked. <laughs>